I want to make this point uh, as an overall point. The judicial branch is one of the three branches of government. I know you know that. But our budget and what we typically receive and, and that request is, is less than 1 percent of the entire state budget in Illinois. And so let me explain this. For fiscal year 2012, our request is $356.5 million, mostly appropriated from the General Revenue Fund. Three components that I want to emphasize. The first is that 54 percent, and that's the largest component of our budget, is for judicial salaries. Those salaries are constitutionally and statutorily mandated. They're fixed. They're already determined. Uh, we don't have any room to, to uh, any discretion on that. The second is probation. It represents 24 percent of our budget. And I want to say this about the probation department because I, I don't know that it's been emphasized enough. But it is the group of people who are the unsung heroes of our court system and especially those who are concerned about how our criminal court system works, unless the probation officers and all the folks involved in probation are properly funded and staffed, our criminal courts are going to continue to be backlogged. A judge cannot enter a sentence on a case without a pre-sentencing report. They can't do a variety of kinds of things in the probation field that are mandated by the legislature, by laws that already exist. And uh, I can't say enough good things about all of those people in that uh, department. And unfortunately, just to put our request this year for probation in context, I want to take you back just very briefly to 2010. Uh, the appropriation we received was only $36 million, less than half, a little more than half of the $64 million that we asked for. In 2010, my predecessor, Chief Justice Fitzgerald, worked with Governor Quinn, and I'm not sure about the term of art here, so forgive me if I'm using the wrong term, but was able to obtain a, an allotment or a, I'm not sure how, how that works, but he was able to get us an additional 16.1 million. This year, in the current fiscal year, we're still at 35 million. Governor Quinn earlier this year in the fiscal year did uh, allot 20 million to help cover the gap. The point is this, probation is seriously underfunded and at these levels, I'm not being critical, but I just want to make sure the facts are there. It's, it's extremely difficult to run these probation departments. Today we're with that additional 20 million, we're at 55, and what's projected is the estimated cost for salaries and probation, and I want to emphasize projected, estimated, is 95 million. But in our budget, you'll see that we've asked for, uh, it's 81 million, and that's because we're fairly certain that that's where it's really going to come out, but depending upon uh, contract negotiations in various counties around the, the state of Illinois, the salaries may change, turnover may change, all those kinds of things. Second, <clears throat> or excuse me, third is the component that's 18 percent, equaling 63 million of the operational cost. And I just want to say very briefly what that is. It's the operation of the Supreme Court operations here in Springfield, the operation of the Supreme Court facilities in Chicago. It's our five appellate districts, the first district in Chicago, the second in Elgin, the third in Ottawa, the fourth is in right here in Springfield, the fourth appellate district, and the fifth is in Mount Vernon. Uh, within the 23 circuit courts that cover the 102 counties in the state of Illinois, there are various programs, again, that are mandated to certain degrees within the scheme that's provided by the legislature. Uh, the circuit court stipends, where well, really part of their salary is a pass-through through our budget, and we don't really use that for our operations, simply pass through. That's part of the 18 percent. Digital recording, mandatory arbitration, trial court administrators, and so forth. Um, that's $63 million. The last component is a component of 4 percent for retirement that's not been funded at all the last two years. 